so many Christians lack discernment. And one of the reasons I lack discernment is because I don't know the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Another reason Amen. I lack discernment is because they're not in close connection, relationship, intimate relationship with Jesus. Amen. Yes. And they're not familiar, they're not familiar, closely familiar with the operation of the Holy Spirit and the person of the Holy Spirit in their life. Mm. And so as a result, they get off on the wrong path, mm. on the wrong track. Mm -hmm. Let me go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. Chapter 12. Let's, let's read the list of gifts there that are mentioned. They're not things that we hear a lot about these days. Let me start in verse 1. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians chapter 12, starting in verse 1, it says, Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. You know that you were Gentiles, carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. Mm -hmm. Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed. And no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm, amen. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouths mm. that Jesus is the Son of God, that Jesus' life was given for us, that his blood was shed for us, that he was crucified, buried, resurrected, ascended to glory, mediates, sits at the right hand of the Father. The Spirit of God has got to be at work in a person for them to confess that. Mm. Yes. Amen. But you can't curse God and say that the Holy Spirit's speaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what Paul's saying here. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I make known to you that no one, okay, I read that, that Jesus the Lord, except for the Holy Spirit, where are we? Verse 4, then it says, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works all in all. Mm -hmm. And verse 7 says, but the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. It's not given just to make me look good. Or you look good. It's given for the profit of all. Amen. Spiritual gifts. Yes. They are spiritual gifts. They're, it's yes. an operation of the Holy Spirit. For to one is given the word of wisdom, per se, through the Spirit. To another, the word of knowledge, through the same Spirit. To another, faith by the same Spirit. To another, gifts of healings by the same Spirit. Mm -hmm. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, different kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. And then verse 11 says this, But one and the same Spirit works all these things, distributing to each one individually as he Wills. Wills. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So none of us can say, there's a full list of gifts there, spiritual gifts, but none of us can say that we own the gift of prophecy. Mm -hmm. It's a manifestation. That means it pops up, it bubbles up. Ever been to hot springs where you've got water bubbling up hot from the ground? Hot springs mm -hmm. have got them in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Those springs, hot springs of water, they just bubble up. Mm -hmm. The gift of prophecy is a manifestation that kind of bubbles up as the Spirit wills. Yes, I mean. Right? Just the same as the other gifts do. It's momentary. It's at that point in time when there's a need to be met. Mm -hmm. Something needs to happen. Something that God wants done. Something that God wants to do or wants to achieve in the lives of his people. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Now we're told... In 1 Corinthians 14 and verse 3, that there are three, there are actually three components to the gift of prophecy. 1 Corinthians 14 and 3 tells us the three parts, if I can put it that way. 1 Corinthians 14 and 3 says, But he who prophesies speaks edification, exhortation, and comfort to men. Amen. That is the Amen. spiritual gift. A prophecy. Mm -hmm. That is the spiritual manifestation gift of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Edification, mm -hmm. exhortation, and comfort. It's a vocal gift. It's a word gift. It's a speaking gift. Yes. You get it when I say that? Yes. Amen. Working at miracles is not so much a word gift. Some of the gifts are vocal. Some mm -hmm. of the gifts are action and mm -hmm. faith. 
Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Edification, exhortation, and comfort. Just keep that in mind next time you hear somebody prophesy and see whether there's edification, exhortation, and comfort in the prophecy that comes out, mm-hmm. in the words that are spoken. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Yeah.